G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. Now, Kell Brook is recently coming off of a victory in his first fight at 154 pounds against Sergey Rebchenko. Hit him with a beautiful uppercut and a right hand, got him up out of there. And after the fight, he's been mentioning Earl Spence. Basically saying he, he want to get that smoke once again from Earl Spence. Basically saying that he was drained at 147. Shouldn't have took the fight at 147. And he wants some get back. And me personally, that's how I like to hear my fighters talking. You know, if they take an L, you know, they can make all the excuses they want. But if they want that get back, I'm all for that. But Earl Spence caught wind of what Kell Brook was saying. And Earl Spence said he would break his other eye socket. So Kell Brook wins the title with 154. There's a chance. There's a chance that Earl Spence could go up to 154 and go pay Kell Brook a visit. Especially if it's a title on the line. Can definitely see that happening. Now, of course, when you think of Earl Spence, you think of Keith Thurman. When you think of them two, you think of unification. That fight wouldn't be for all of the Marvels because of the WBO and Jeff Horn, Terrence Crawford, and with the political landscape, the chances of that type of fight happening is slim to none. Now, everybody knows Keith Thurman is on his... It's Floyd Mayweather right now being real strategic. And I said in a previous video, Keith Thurman could conceivably fight four fights before he even has to think about Earl Spence. He could do the fight on May 19th. Sean Porter's one mandatory. Danny Garcia's another mandatory. And then the WBA will probably come knocking for their mandatory. There goes your four fights. And the way Keith Thurman fights per year that can be two plus years for him to get those four fights out the way. So my question for today is what is more likely to happen for Earl Spence? Is it more likely for him to get a shot at Kell Brook at 154 pounds in a which would be a highly anticipated rematch or would a unification bout with Keith Thurman come before that? Now, this really depends on Keith Thurman. And it's, it's funny because nobody likes the fact that Keith Thurman is calling shots right now, but everything leads back to Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman doesn't have to take on Sean Porter. He doesn't have to take on Danny Garcia. He doesn't even have to take on that other WBA mandatory later on down the line if he don't want to. He could just skip all that nonsense and tell both of the sanctioning bodies, I'm trying to unify with Earl Spence, and they're going to allow him to do it. They're going to allow him to do it. But Kell Brook is one of the few guys that was open to getting in the ring with Earl Spence. And I had Kell Brook ahead of that fight against Earl Spence. Before his eye socket got broke. Good fight. Competitive fight. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. But Kell Brook had to come to the States for that. He would have to come to the States for that fight. But what do y'all think would happen first? Earl Spence actually going up to 154 to fight Kell Brook? Or him getting a unification fight with Keith Thurman? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Appreciate y'all. Peace.